Boom, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Mount MoGraph. As always, my name is Matt. Today's video, we're gonna go over the latest and greatest with Motion Studio, as well as cover last month's update to the extensions included in Motion Studio. Before we go into the updates, a uh, quick housekeeping note, if you're interested in Motion Studio or any of the extensions, you can grab a free trial over at mountmograph.com. Check it out, let us know what you think, and hopefully you enjoy it. Let's jump into the updates. The first thing we'll take a look at in this month's update is going to be the ability to bulk edit composition all together. So if we go on over here, we have three compositions in this example. I'll open my composition kind of like browser here and we got a 16 by 9, uh, 10 frames per second and 10 seconds long. Uh, comp 2 is a 9 by 16, 10 frames per second, 2 seconds long and 4 extra uh, little frames there and then this last one a super widescreen 96 by 5 45 five frames per second and a one minute duration who knows what's being made with all these comps but we got to standardize the frames per second so how we're going to do this go on over to your project window here we're just going to grab all three compositions that we want to affect three selected comps are now active and we're going to switch all of these frames per second to 15. I mean, I don't know. We got 10, 45, I think 15 is going to be great. So we've updated that. And now when we go to uh, comp two, we're going to see that's now set to 15 and comp one is also now 15. So also let's maybe change all of these uh, compositions to eight seconds. So I'll go select all of my props, make sure that uh, three selected comps is being set here. And we'll just go and change the duration here. Uh, let's just change it to one second, you know, get crazy. So this comp is now one second long. This comp is now one second long and this comp is now one second long. So this is just a great way to manage multiple compositions all at once. That was a user suggestion from the futures board. So thanks for the suggestion. Um, if you have any more, uh, drop them on in. Let's take a look at the minis. So if you're not familiar with the mini system in Motion Studio, it's essentially this little uh, satellite or companion extension that's like a blank slate that you can save any tools, preferences, swatches, color palettes, easing palettes, etc. Pretty much anything in Motion Studio, you can save, customize, and uh, have for quick access in a Motion Mini. So if Motion Studio wasn't open, you can access any of your favorite tools. Um, if you were in like a pretty you know, deep workflow or in a tool over here, you can always have tools uh, accessible here for whatever actions you might want. And overall, it's just a pretty nice system to have available. So let's dive into the new updates to the mini system. So to edit a mini, we're gonna go into the Motion Studio application and I'm already on the mini library page. So these are just like the, the defaults or uh, presets that come with uh, Motion Studio. You can obviously create your own minis and go way far into creating your own libraries. But if you ever want to switch your mini, you can just right click set as active, right click set as active, etc. or this little button up at top. And you can see the change is instantly reflected in the Motion Mini um, extension window inside After Effects. So you can switch set active, uh, set active, etc. And I'm just going to go back to the tiny focus because that's a nice easy one for this example. And if we we want to edit it you can double click or right click go to edit menu and we're now editing the mini which is where the modifier keys come in so any of the tools that we save to the mini um you know not every single one of the tools but a lot of them will have like preferences and options of things you can change or do and if you uh, want to have like a secondary option to it, it would make sense to have a modifier key. So we'll add that up in this little context menu or secondary drop down. We can click it and we'll say add modifier keys. And then we'll get this little tab down at the bottom of our tool. We'll click plus and just pick uh, the modifier key that we want to use. I'll click uh, command here and then we'll just do something easy. We'll do uh, timeline focus mode and uh, turn off the indicator. So now we have our default run, which is just a normal click, and then a command click run, which is gonna be a different kind of version of the tool. So I'll go back into After Effects and we'll check out if that worked. We have our normal run, so just a regular click. We focused uh, the composition as well as the timeline and we'll refocus. Uh, just a normal run. I'll hold command and click focus. And now we have our secondary run, which just uh, focuses the timeline and not the viewer. And then I can refocus. So that's just a really nice way to kind of have like an omni function tool um, in the Motion Mini. And uh, going back into Motion Studio here, 
Uh, we'll take a look at another uh, nice addition to the mo minis. Um, you can add tools. Uh, so if I like Tiny Focus, but maybe I want another tool to it, um, I can just go in here and I can add anything from like color swatches, um, easing swatches maybe I've saved, uh, rekeys, which we'll talk about in just a second, and any of the effects. So uh, for this one, I'll just grab delay. Um, that's pretty nice. And we'll look at how we can modify delay. So right now this is delay. It has some options in here, but let's say that we turned off some of these options and now it's not quite a delay tool with some of our preferences and uh, the customization. So we want to call this like, uh, the special or, or something. So now this tool is called the special. If I hovered it, it's called the special. And if I hover the extension here, it's called the special in the tooltip as well. We'll go ahead and switch the icon here. Um, so if I click icon, we now have 24,000 um, SVG vectors that you can pick from for any of these setups. So I will uh, just be kind of a basic and I'll type in special see if we got anything. So we only had one icon for special. So maybe I'll uh, look up something else like a robot. Um, if I can spell that right. Uh, maybe a robot is better for this. So I'll pick like a, a robot leg looks pretty cool. And just for now, we'll we'll switch the color. Uh, we'll make it white. And it's just reflected here. Uh, we can add a modifier key this uh, as well. So maybe a modifier key and this uh, modifier key will be command and that'll just change it. So now we have the two different runs between uh, the special tool etc and uh, again that's just a nice way to change your minis and all of these are savable and you can delete so if you want to create a new mini or set a different one as active you can just do that very easily just like that and a bunch of other preferences so that's some of the new additions to the mini system uh, let's jump over to the biggest update um, that just came to motion studio which is the whole new rekey system which we are psyched on let's jump in all right, so let's talk about the shiny new tool called Rekey that was just added to Motion Studio. I have a, went ahead and pinned the tool just onto the home screen here. If you'd like to do the same, you can go up to the tools over here under the new category, uh, there Rekey is, and you can go and click pin tool and just click that and you'll get the same yellow border. And that just means it's gonna show up a pin to the home screen. And from there you could uh, sort it, drag it around, find a your favorite spot for it. And that's how you get it onto the home screen. So what Rekey is, is if I go ahead and press U on my keyboard to see all the, so the keyframe properties here, I've added this awesome animation to my layer and I'm really happy with it so much so that I wanna save it. Well, you know, typically you have to select the keyframes and you can command C, command V, paste it onto another layer, or you could use a clone tool and clone the keyframes onto a layer. But if you're in another project, you can't access these keyframes or if your clipboard has something else on it, these you can't access. So, you know, this needed a solution. So what we did is if you select the keyframes and you open up Rekey, you can now create the Rekey, which is going to save all of the keyframes and properties um, into whatever you want it. So I'll just call this like sample so we can find it nice and easy and I'll click save and sample is going to pop up here into our little Rekey library. I do want to say this is like our very early version of Rekey. I'll pop up on the screen in about three weeks, I think we have a whole redesign coming to Rekey. Uh, but right now, you know, it's kind of like a simple tools and buttons to kind of use. And it also will have multi-layer support as well. A lot of stuff coming. I think this tool is great, but so we've grabbed these keyframes, we've saved it. So now if I click this, you can see there's all our keyframes um, saved onto our sample. So if we want to apply these keyframes, we just select the layer, uh, move our timeline indicator wherever we want maybe at the beginning and you can double click the button or press apply and it's going to add the rekeys to the layer so in this example it looks no different than a copy and paste because they're in the same time i'll press command z we'll just move forward in time click apply again and that's where the rekeys got added there so pretty handy it's great if you're in different projects or if you know you had a quick little animation maybe i just wanted these keys i could create a rekey i could call this like scale up um and now we have a uh, scale up saved into our keyframe library and we could do a lot in motion studio to manage like the colors and stuff which i guess i'll show you right now so going over into motion studio uh we're going over into our rekeys here uh, we have a better view i'll pop up coming to rekeys very shortly but for right now it looks like this 
Um, so we can see we have our scale up property, um, a rekey system added. We have our sample uh, rekey system added and we can go in this and change the color if we want, maybe make it orange. It's gonna live update over here. And maybe if we didn't like the opacity change, we could just go ahead and delete it as well. So you can do some light management right now just for your rekeys with the properties, the keyframes, the color, and the name right now. We have full icons coming as well, but that's uh, rekey right now. So the next couple features of rekey I actually think are pretty dang handy. Um, let's set up just one more example here. I'll grab this uh, sample and we'll just delete it. We don't, we don't need this. You can also manage this in Motion Studio or change the colors if you wanted. But we don't want these, uh, you know, they didn't turn out super great. So I'll grab these keyframes here. Um, we'll just save this again. We'll just call this save two. And uh, this could be pretty great. So we got save two. So when I want to apply this rekey, we also have some preferences we could do. If you're familiar with Animo, um, it's one of my favorite tools we actually ever built. We can also put our rekey systems onto Animo. So I'll just turn this option on and we'll click uh, the save to that we just added and I'll apply this. The difference, as you can see here, is uh, we don't get the normal keyframes. Instead, we got it added to an Animo system. If you're familiar, this just kind of like binds all of the keyframes onto one controller so you can like uh yeah retime things and add kinds of easing on top of easing animo's awesome but i won't get it too, too far in this video um but that's the preferences so rekey you kind of have some extra options in it um in terms of like reapplying adding it on an animo deleting and managing uh, etc and the other really cool thing about rekeys ties into mini which we'll take a look at right here we're going to take a look at how rekey and the mini kind of work together so let's set up a quick example i'll grab the little center square here and we'll just add a quick animation um, just on position going up and then going down um, just like that uh, we can just add whatever kind of easing you want just for this example and this is the animation that we've created and i should have it uh, kind of settle back to the beginning so I like this animation. Maybe we could go and change the color as well on these keyframes. I'll make them pink. We'll go back here, go to rekey, and I'm gonna call this like my test pink or something like that. So we've got our rekey kind of saved here. So uh, we wanna talk about how it works with the Motion Mini, which again is this kind of like a flexible companion panel that we can use. So if I go back to Motion Studio here, we'll go on over to our mini library. And uh, why don't we create a new mini because we wanna work just with these rekeys. So I'll create a new mini library and I'll add a tool under rekey. So if you go under rekey, again, we're gonna have icons here in just a very few short weeks. Right now, we just wanted to make all of the keyframe properties visible. But uh, if you have your keyframes here, so I'll grab like test pink um, that gets added there just with the default icon. I'll grab this and let's say we can pick something better. Um, this is going to be a uh, position. Um, let's see if we can get something. So that's kind of like a position, I guess, keyframe um, representative thing. We'll make it kind of like a dark gray, pretty cool. And we're gonna have two options here for preserve initial values and then create animo controller. So this is a great opportunity for us to use like the modifier. So let's add a modifier key that we learned about in the beginning. We have our default run. We'll do an additional modifier for command. And when we run it with command, um, we're gonna preserve initial values. And I'll show you what that does real quick. So we now need to return back to the library. We have this nice simple mini. We wanna go ahead and set this as active. So we'll do that. And now we have our mini over here uh, and we'll check this out. So if you have the preference for the like initial set it's going to use the the properties that the layer being rekeyed already has to add the next uh, sequence of keyframes to if that makes sense so if i was just to run it normal uh, we have the keyframes that i stole uh from uh, just on this initial first layer if i was to grab like another layer and i run rekey you're going to notice uh that the uh, layer snaps exactly to the same um, position as the original one. Obviously, this added to where my timeline was, so I'll Command Z if I wanted to add it at the same time. Just go back in time, Command Z, and it uh, is the same exact keyframes as the first one to the point we can't even see the second layer. But 
uh, if in Motion Studio, we did also set up the uh, initial um, kind of difference here when we run command. So let's check that out. I'll hold command and I'll click. And now when we add it, you can see it was applied uh, based off the initial uh, position of the layer. So now I've added the keyframes to different layers, but they're the same keyframes um, using the initial position. So if I wanted to add it to this red one, for example, if I wanted to add it where the blue one is, I would just click normal, snaps there. And if I wanna run it um, based on its initial position, I'll hold command and click and uh, have it run like that. So, you know, this is a look at the rekey and the mini and just some of the cleanups that we did in this last version of Motion Studio and the extensions. I think rekey is a very, very cool tool. Um, and the other addition to it that is even more awesome is this also works with effects. So you can put like effects or layer styles, keyframe them, put them onto a layer and then just save like a hundred keyframes. I'll actually show you an example. Um, in one of the little demos here, this has a 300 keyframes onto it. Um, and this is kind of like a little rumble effect. And I'll just double click, add it to the layer. We'll have it think real quick. And uh, there we go. We've got this nice kind of like rumble effect just added to a layer. So if you ever wanted uh, 300 keyframes plus multiple properties, effect controls, layer styles, anything you want, you can save all of those to a rekey. And like I said, this whole screen is getting uh, cleaned up a bunch. You're going to be able to add icons as well as uh, affect multiple layers um, like uh, parent child relationships and a much deeper kind of uh, key advanced animation and keyframing. Anyway, this was Matt from uh, MoGraph. I'm sorry about the long winded uh, video this time. I was a little rusty, but thanks so much for checking out our tools. Um, like I said, you can check out a free trial of all of our extensions, tools, anything you're interested in over at mountmograph.com. Thanks for checking it out. Uh, peace.